and try to push a stereotype onto you that oh mothers do all the work mothers do all the cooking mothers do all the cleaning like bro this ain't 1672 or 1999 whatever this ain't none of that <laughs> OTW Nation so girl I know it's been a while since I've actually did like a live video screen of me and just went through and edited everything and posted and me talking usually I'm always quick to do a voiceover for a video but in this case I just rather chat because it's a lot I want to talk about I want to be very sincere, very transparent, and very straightforward. I'm not looking for a pity party or anything. I don't want anyone's sympathy or anything like that, girl. I just simply want to talk about why I haven't been posting, why I've disappeared, why I haven't been so active on my YouTube account along with my Instagram. I just want to get into all of those things. So I just want to just talk with you guys. But at the same time, you know, I'm sure it's somebody out there that can relate to this. I'm also going to throw in some positive notes. So just take some mental notes of what I'm saying if you feel like this applies to you. First of all, thank you, God, for this day. Let's embrace that we're even here. Like, girl, you looking at me, I'm looking at you. We blessed. Like, it don't matter what's going on. Forget about it. Give your worries to the Lord. Give your anxiety to the Lord. And call back your peace. Demand your peace to come back to you and rebuke and bind any evil spirits in the atmosphere, any evil people that you're connected to. Pray that God disconnects them. Um, all evil thinking, rebuke it in the name of God because God is judging you not only by your ways, your actions, and your heart, but he's judging you by your thinking as well. So get right mentally, girl, because it's not worth it because you're going to block your blessings. It's already enough things that we unconsciously do that causes us to sin, like lying or cheating, stuff like that. But yes, girl, just make sure you call into the Lord because if you don't got nobody, you got him. So let's just start there. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you are here to stay. You tuning into the whole video, girl. Thank you. Let's get into it. I am currently in the process of doing some self-care. I already did my hair removals because I love doing the near hair removals. Um, I like to wear press-ons as well. I really love them. They're just so cute and convenient for me since I am now a mommy of two. And like I apply them like in a cute way. Like here's what my nails are looking like. And my toes is done. I, I don't, I could try to show y'all. My camera's so high up. <laughs> oh, don't be screenshotting my feet either. Trying to sell my feet pics. Because don't. But girl. Girl, look at my toe. I'm going to just show my toe later. I'm, but girl, I'm getting myself together. Eyebrows done. You know. Yes. So we finna get into this makeup. So I just been feeling like. Am I passionate about YouTube? Like, am I really gonna pursue this? Like, why am I not putting out videos? Like, what do I wanna talk about? Like, is it my my life that's affecting me that's making me not wanna be open because I'm not happy with my circumstances, what's going on? Like, I don't know. So I had to do like a lot of reevaluating with myself because I didn't, I literally didn't know why I wasn't posting. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush, just in case. Um, I will try to link I mean, not even link. I'll just try to list below everything that I'm going to be using today, just in case you guys are wondering. Since my comments are off and I can't directly answer any questions, I'll just make sure that's right there, girl. I ain't no secrets of person. Like, right now, I'm content. I'm focused. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not bitter. Whatever. I'm getting my mental right. Getting myself right. You know, I had to pace myself because I just had a baby. And, you know, like, my face, my body didn't look the same three months ago. My son will be three months and about eight days from today or actually nine days from today nine days from today and you know i had to pace myself i thought i was gonna hop right back into the influencer thing and try to be more active on youtube i tried while i was pregnant but like girl i was fat and lazy while i was pregnant like now i'm really gonna try but i couldn't get back into everything i said i wanted to do because of that so now i'm just slowly pacing myself and you know, just trying to get it all figured out day by day and taking things one day at a time because that's really all I can do. Because if you're like me, 
and you have so much on your mind that you want to accomplish whether it be your dreams or your short-term goals or just like little daily tasks that you need to do you don't write it down on paper or something or put in your phone notes like your mind is scrambled all over the place to the point where like you are not getting nothing done and you're just like oh, what am i gonna do first what do i start with where do i start <laughs> like that's how i be and then I end up not getting crap done. And oh look, it's nighttime. I mean, at least the kids are fed, taken care of, they're good. But me, I'm not good. So I have to take a mental break and get myself good, get my mind right. Because, and I'm not trying to get too personal. Like, I will say what I have to say because I know when somebody can relate and like, you know, it's not hurting me no more or anything like that. I'm good. I'm gonna try to angle this right so y'all like can watch me. Because I've been chatting, I haven't started an eyebrow yet. Hope this is not the worst get ready with me ever. Okay, because I'm trying to get my eyebrows right. I might have to go off camera and do them because, like, this is the part that I need to focus. Like, kudos to the girls that can do them on camera because, girl, like, I need to focus and make sure I get them right because I don't want my eyebrows looking like sisters. I want them looking like twins. Very rough 2021 so far like who hasn't if you haven't that's amazing i also feel like i don't want to be the type to be doing like so many story times because i don't want my fan base to just be dependent on me to entertain y'all just off of tragedies or weird stuff that go on my life you know i don't like that and that's not what we're about to do so girl see i gotta i gotta get in front of the camera more and like get used to this you guys know i did post a house tour video and something with that situation ended up not going well guys so i actually am not going to be looking forward to going to the house that i showed you guys if you are one of my subscribers and remember when i posted that a few months ago i believe it was like going on five months ago that i posted that or something like that four or five don't even remember still a little upset about it but hey you know not too upset because when one door closes another one opens and what's for me is for me okay and I just feel like that was God because, you know, what if I had a win and everything good that I thought was going to happen would have been the complete opposite and that could have been a harmful situation for me. So I'm just glad that I did it and I'm just trying to like, you know, not let things that don't happen for me stop me. I mean, I've never been the type to let anything I've been through stop me. So why would I start now, you know? But it's just like when you're trying to like settle down, not even with another person, just settle down with your family because I do have a little family. I have a three month old and a three year old little girl, little boy. And it's just like, you know, kind of irritating. Like you want things to be right so you can just, you know, sit down and enjoy the moments. But you know, life is not perfect. You know, everything doesn't go the way you want it. But as long as you don't sit around and wait for it to happen, because you can't manifest anything or walk by faith and not by sight, but you're not putting in the work. Like you gotta put in the work. Gotta put in the work. And you also gotta pace yourself. Like you mentally gotta be ready for that. Like being an influencer is kind of like a full-time job. But because like if you're not consistent and you're not like maintaining the consistency, then you will lose your audience. And that's what has been happening to me. I went from getting half a hundred thousand likes on my post to getting just eight thousand and eight thousand is a lot to some people. But me of having the platform as long as I've had, I look at that like my numbers are not moving. Like I got to do more. Like I look at people that have a million followers like they can charge so much for promo versus what I'm charging. Like I'm trying to get up there. So numbers do matter. Numbers are important to me because more money. Boo -boo. You got to make sure that you're a good boss and employee to yourself. It's a major comeback for a minor setback. And there is so much that I want to get off my chest and say to my channel. But I'm not going to do it all in one video. This is strictly just about why I haven't been posting. Now, as far as Instagram, why I haven't been posting, my newborn, I mean, not even, he's not even newborn, my three-month-old, like, that's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time and effort, patience, and a lot of observation, like, lots of observations throughout the day. Like, it's a lot of brain power. So, you know, sometimes when I say I have 
one, two, three, four, five, six to do, I might only get two things done because I don't live with my baby father. You know, we're not under one roof. So it's just like when I need him to get the baby, I got to, you know, go across town to make that happen, get some more free time. Because I'm not going to just throw my baby off on anybody just to, like, do tasks. Like, if I can't get it done today, that's fine. Like, he's my number one priority. Just making sure that he's surviving, he's well, he's eating well and healthy every day, getting his milk, getting washed up and kept up to par you know keeping his little nails clipped and his hair moisturized like all of that takes lots of time and that's what niggas don't get that's what niggas really don't get and i don't like that like niggas be acting like i don't even want to say that word but it's literally that's what niggas be thinking men in general some men think that what they have going on or their freedom or their whatever is the priority like they put everything that they got going on before you and the baby and try to push a stereotype onto you that oh mothers do all the work mothers do all the cooking mothers do all the cleaning like bro this ain't 1672 or 1999 whatever this ain't none of that you know not having the male like right next to my side because whatever now like i try to get as much content done when i can but i haven't been getting as much as i thought i'd be able to because of that and because i'm the type to make sure like my babies are good like y'all also important as well to take time for yourself mommies out there mommies to be it is very important to do that because you can't take care of nobody if you're not good and it doesn't matter what form you have to do that self-care could be cutting somebody off that's toxic is absolutely what i did and why i'm going through what i'm going through like guys think oh when they're mad at the mom they don't neglect the baby and treat the mom any kind of way until she falls for the little trap like you obviously got left for a reason like that's a part of my self-care like making sure i ain't got no hair on my body because i prefer not to make sure i'm good you know business is going as it should it's a little slow because i haven't like i said babies first mom first bad bitch second i just try to do the right thing guys don't understand that you know you treated me in a toxic way and i'm wrong because i want to do the right thing for myself by not being with you the thing that happens when you decide you don't want to be with your toxic spouse is they cut you off from all support if i'm caring for my kids all of the time and when you come up short i have to fill in for you and i'm overplaying my part as a mother when i'm already doing my best and i get anxiety when i do one little thing wrong that much this that like just being so observant that's a lot of brain power you ain't doing nothing but trying to look good for other men because you damn sure don't look good to me and you obviously don't care because it's repeated behavior and it's just so much y'all like i don't even want to get into the negativity because I just want you guys to know that just continue to do right. And it might not feel good. It might make you a little bit uncomfortable. But that just goes to show you that you're doing the right thing. Because if you're just being yourself and you're doing your part and you might have to overplay your part a little bit, you still try to be cordial. You still try to make it work. You still trying everything. You trying everything. And they still acting a fool. They either got to get cut. You need to put them in a place. Nip it in the butt. You don't want to let nothing continue and drag along because you're doing the right thing and you don't need that stress like i don't need that stress like i still have dreams and goals too like you know i don't care what happens to me like i will never sit here and say that my dreams are impossible now because i have two kids and you know i don't live with my baby father and you know nobody that's near me barely wants to help and stuff i don't care what my life is looking like as long as i have air in my body and i'm doing god's work by raising children and raising them up to be children of god you know i'm on the right track i'm not losing due to what somebody got that i don't because the person that i'm in competition with every single day is myself like who i was five minutes ago who i just was an hour ago i'm trying to be better every second because this time is not guaranteed this time is not determined you don't know when your time is up when it's when it's time to go up or down you don't know so be the best you can be every second that's why i that's what i try to do that's why you know when things go bad and you know people are acting weird to me 
like my baby dad if I say you know hey I would like to do this this and that and get some stuff done could you come back at the baby even though I've already been taking the baby back and forth 15 minutes each time says no oh it's okay you know what I'm not even gonna stress it it really does hurt my feelings but you know what I wouldn't want somebody like that watching my baby right now anyway because why is you being weird and negative I don't want my baby around them vibes like I'll do it because I know I'm gonna take care of them the best like for real just terrible but I've been going on and on I'm going to do my eyebrows and come right back This flat top brush by Real Techniques in the number 300. If you were curious about my makeup brushes, I use Real Techniques the majority of the time. And yeah. So I ran into this palette and it kind of has all the similar colors that I already used. Like I'm so excited to try out this um, eyeshadow. This is the bronze and stuff. I'm excited to try all this stuff out. So we're going to see how it goes, girl. So next I'm going to go ahead and go in with my concealer. I'm going to be using the concealer Ginna. Ganea. And here's the color that I'm using. I feel like it is a perfect match to my skin. This is by Juvia's Palace. It's full coverage. I know I didn't speak that long on the subject because I'm pretty sure you guys are like, well, what really happened? I'm not going to get into too deep of details on that, but I will say that we're just going to do some apartment tours because instead of just sitting around getting sad, having a pity party for myself for something that didn't happen for me, like I'm going to get excited because I know God got something bigger in store for me. So I'm going to, you know, keep searching and keep you guys updated. We can do like a cute luxury apartment viewing tour and housing because I'm looking for both right now. Currently back to square one on that part. Just trying to relocate with my kids, you know, and just good stuff like that. So that's pretty much all, like, all I have to say about the living situation because I'm not really worried about it. Like it is what it is. You know, it's not my fault. A man wants to be pursued and expects the woman to like, you know, do all these things for the family. That's why I'm single now. It was my choice to be just blending everything out okay so there's my foundation now my face is one even color except for like under my eyes drink your water sis and take a deep breath i do love the full coverage look i really love that so i'm gonna be going in with this nyx palette they're currently not selling this in stores anymore so you have to order it i'll list it down below what it is oh yeah akira was here you know she was here because that's messed up um, I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques 402 brush for this and just going in with some red because I really do think that it helps with like the under eye or people like use like different colors like orange and purple to like color correct certain areas but it's just right here for me so I like to go in because it is super bright and pigmented with my LA girl around like that that's definitely gonna blend out nicely because i do this all the time then i'm gonna go in with this on my nose bridge contouring my nose is my favorite because it gave me a whole nose job like 
just to wet my sponge because it's currently dry. Now I'm, I squeeze it a little bit because I don't want it to get too on my nose because I have a blending method that I like to use. I like to go on my nose like that. And I just like to go ahead and hit the other side up. For this, you don't need multiple brushes, even though we're dealing with multiple colors, because right now we are just focused on blending them. And this is what helps. You don't overdo it because then that kind of takes away from the work. But you can kind of already see like the contouring going on. If you have to go back in with this just to like fix the lineup of your nose because it still has some product on it, that's what I do and it is helpful. So go ahead and do that while you still can. Because once you set the makeup, it's set, baby girl. You set. Like, I'll take an eyelash container, take out whatever's in it, and pour my powder in it. Sprinkle it in here. Okay, the powder that's already my skin tone. Yeah, I got this at my local beauty supply store. But here's what the palette is looking like. Super pretty. And I'm just gonna go in with it like this. Go ahead and go on my lid. Cause I just been like a one eyeshadow type girl lately, type vibe. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just do my eyeshadow to my liking. And I am liking the color, that's cute. I like that this forehead get her together and I just like to blend that out some so you can still see what's going on you know the vibes you know the, the fucking vibes I love setting powder like not even gonna cap I love it I love makeup period You know, this okay. Oh, I do my bottom lashes like completely last when I do my makeup. So I don't want them to look all powdery, but I am gonna blend it out for sure. Some areas I just wanna pat. I'm going to be taking my Rose Techniques brush number 402 and lightly dabbing that because I don't want to look like an evil baby doll. And I just like to go in a circular motion like along my cheek area. I don't go, I don't overlap where I've contoured. So I just like go right here. And where you place your, uh, where you place the blush, it really does matter because it's kind of like a contouring factor as well it's in that same category it's definitely giving and adding more color and yeah you just want to make sure you don't add it to wrong place now let me just say this is really pretty oh this is really really flipping pretty like milani cosmetics did that so i'm gonna go ahead and just stack them on top of the other lash but here's what that looks like it's really curled and cute, but it's too thin, so.
video on my other phone and i literally almost did my lips without you but here's how the lashes came out um it's giving extensions these are bomb like these are fire and all i did was like stack two lashes together i showed you guys the brand so if you need to go back and see do that Ooh, that is so pretty. I don't know if I like this. Okay, so the lips, they're giving what I want. I think I like it. I mean, I could just leave it like this and it'll all be good, but that's just not me. I don't like it. Like, I like to do it like exactly how I want it to look. just have to like contour it to my liking now that's a snatched note and these lashes are giving extendos like but like classic mixed with a little bit of like I don't know I'm not a lash tech I don't know all the names but it's giving extensions like look at these how thick and pretty these are I love them. We good up in superstars. I'm gonna go in with the same mascara. Cause the makeup is giving, okay? It's giving what needs to be gave like it looks fabulous now i'm gonna add the highlighter with this highlighter like that and for my cheeks, I use a completely different brush. I used to use this one, but now I've been using my Real Techniques 308 brush. It's kind of fluffy and rounded at the top. And I just dab, dab, dab. Oh, that is really pretty. I love that. That's cute. That's cute. I like it. Let me know what you guys think you might have to dm me because i don't know if my comments are back on for youtube and i actually don't know why they're off i've been looking into it but if you like this go ahead and leave a comment on my instagram because i'm going to be posting i mean if you're late and you see this like a year later the post won't be there obviously and you could just watch the video for what i said and the makeup tip benefits that you see in this video but just go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this video. Or you can Z DM me on behalf of the advice that I put out and stuff that I said if you really liked it. Um, Overall, period. If you want like a tutorial on how... <laughs> if you want a tutorial or anything else like that, girl, let me know. Because her. 
so with that being said that is all for this makeup look here's how it's looking i'm gonna show you guys some different angles but now i'm just gonna fix my hair it's currently in a bob look i will leave you guys on that note will you be seeing me again Hex yeah and i don't want to say too much I'm going to just start uploading because I can't even be saying too much to y'all because of how distant and how absent I've been on my channel. But I hope that you guys like this video and like for more, subscribe for more, uh, thumbs up me for more, uh, you know, hit that bell button too. I have to think, but yeah, love you guys. Thank you for listening and bye.